here is what we need for our oxidation reduction experiment. We have a distilled white vinegar, some salt, paper towels, and some tarnished pennies. As tarnished as I could find so. I thought I'd pull out some pennies at various stages of oxidation and reaction. Here's one that's still pretty shiny, but there's on the ridges you can see some copper oxide forming, and that's the black stuff. Here's quite a bit more oxidation, but still some shiny parts, probably where there's wear and it's been worn off. That one's just about covered in copper oxide, and eventually you get that patina of verdigris. A lot of people think that that is copper peroxide, but it's much more complicated than that. The process starts when the metallic copper is exposed to the air and reacts with oxygen to form copper 1 oxide, which is actually kind of pinkish in color. The copper loses one electron to become positively charged in the process of oxidation, while the oxygen, while the oxygen gains electrons to become negatively charged in the process of reduction. In the next step, copper is oxidized once again, forming copper. Copper oxide sulfur in the air can also oxidize copper to form copper sulfide. Both compounds are black in both cases. The copper ends up in the plus 2 oxidation state. Finally, the copper, the copper oxide can react with carbon dioxide and sulfur trioxide in the air to form the familiar verdigris, or the green patina. This is an example of pennies that shows all the, stage, all the stages of oxidation. So for the experiment, here's what you have to do. I'd say to start, I'd start with an entire cup of vinegar to make sure that I have enough at the end and about one teaspoon, one teaspoon of salt and you can also try to add some more to make things go faster and make sure that the salt is dissolved and dumped in the pennies. I've got about six to seven pennies here but I'd really try to go with something like 20 or 30 if but I couldn't really find them so <laughs> if you can find them that is. Now we can see that the vinegar cleans up the pennies by dissolving the tarnish. And that is what we are looking for because the tarnish contains copper ions. Now for the next part where I'm going to take the pennies out, I'll put half of them right onto the unrinsed paper and the other half I'm going to rinse really well with water. And I'll dry them out here. i let this dry if I see anything happening. And I'll be back later. And now, so I'm back now, there's really, there's really something you can see. Some of these are even getting that patina. It's not that visible, but there's that green and some kind of black. It will take much, much longer after a while. There's quite a bit of verdigris, especially if you start with the very tarnished pennies. The next thing is to dump them into the vinegar and see if we can dissolve the verdigris, which means we're going to be dissolving the copper ions in solution. And that's where the blue comes from, that we can see those copper ions in solution. So take them out again. These are some fresh pennies that were pretty cleaned and spread it all out and put the time lots and you can see that over time that yes, they get tarnished we start to form some more verdigris. verdigris. The idea is to repeat the process at least uh, three to four times each time your solution will get a darker and darker blue showing a great concentration of copper ions. You'll also find that each time you run through the cycle, the pennies will get more and more verdigris faster. An oxidation reduction reaction is a type of chemical reaction that involves a transfer of electrons between two species. 
Oxidation is the loss of electrons and reduction is the gain of electrons. The oxidizing agent gains electrons and is reduced, whereas the reducing agent loses electrons and is oxidized. An oxidation and reduction will always be occurred together since the reduction of one molecule will cause the oxidation of another molecule. The reducing agent will become more positive or neutral and the oxidizing agent more negative. Half-reaction method is used to balance the, redu the redox reaction, which requires the that both mass and charge are balanced. The oxidation numbers are assigned by following certain rules and helps to see which molecules was oxidized and reduced during the reaction.